Now look, when I tell you the backup quarterback, Kevin Hurley, he looks hungry. I had walked in on him while he was practicing with the team, and he was doing his thing. And look, the thing is, Kevin, he's a sophomore, but he didn't get to play last season as he was sitting on the bench for a different quarterback who's no longer on his team. And so in his mind, coming into this season, he believed that he'll be the starting quarterback. But little did he know, I would commit to this team. So first game came back around, and I ended up being a starting quarterback over him. And look, when he heard that news, I didn't hear a word from him. All I know is, he been working hard. And even in practice, him and Jordan looked like they got a little chemistry going. And I ain't gonna lie, it got me a little nervous because Coach was in here watching, you know what I'm saying, nodding his head and everything. And especially watching this pass he threw while taking a hit got me motivated. Because I can't let him outdo me and try to take my starting spot, especially after two games I just had. I definitely got to lock in for this next game. Watching him go crazy in practice definitely got me locked in. As we're coming into the third game of the season, trying to extend our lead to 3-0 against UTSA. But not only am I trying to keep this streak alive, I got another quarterback right behind me who's hungry and ready to get that starting spot. And I can't let that happen. It's our first drive of the game, and on first and 10, I decided to use my legs. Ran out to the right side, and I'm going to get met by this defender. I ain't going to lie, he got my head off my body. And I'd definitely be lying if I said that ain't hurt. Because, I mean, just looking at me, you could tell I'm a pretty skinny guy. Running the play action on second and two. And right before I got hit, I ended up throwing this dot to the middle of the field to Jordan as he ended up carrying the ball up the field to pick up 23 yards. Running another play action on first and 10. And I immediately ran out to the right side because Marcus, he was running the corner route. And I hit him perfect time for the touchdown. At the defense got a stop, we got the ball back with about a minute left. And we're a little bit backed up. And on first and 10, I made a big mistake. I walked all the way back into the end zone. Ended up getting hit for a safety. And I mean, at these moments, I just got to be a lot more aware of where I'm at. There's no reason why I should have walked all the way back there. Bad business. But if you thought that was bad, I know Coach definitely don't like this play either. Second and 10, I ran out to the left side trying to get past that defender, but instead got hit for another safety. And now that's four points that I'm responsible for. And hopefully defense can get another stop because that would be tough. UTSA end up getting a field goal, and at this point, they pass rush and blitz. It's just getting to me almost every single time. I can't even sit back in the pocket, try to throw a dot. Had to throw that ball out of bounds. I'm going to get sacked for a big loss again. And at this point, I don't know what's going on with me, mentally. After taking those hits, I expected off this play action for a defender to be right in my face. He wasn't, and I still inaccurately threw this pass. He was wide open towards the sideline. And then, on third and 10, I hit Marcus Vincent on his in route. And when I thought we had the first down, getting happy and stuff, they called it fourth and inches. Things just ain't looking too good right now. I gotta turn this thing up before things get worse. Lucky for me, our defense is able to get multiple stops. So we're still in this game and I still got a chance to go ahead and take the lead and take control of this game. Starting off getting this ball to Jordan for the first. Now look, I don't know what I was seeing on this first and 10, throwing this ball to my tight end, but uh, that was not a good pass. Luckily, it was deflected instead of picked off. Cause that could have been bad. I'm gonna be honest, on second and 10, we basically ran the exact same play and I threw it to the exact same person. And this time, it ended up working. Marcus picked up that big 26 yard reception. It got to third and eight with about 30 seconds left in the first half. Play action. And my boy Kelly, I'm not gonna say his last name cause I might butcher it, but he was wide open on his wheel route, picking up the 26 yard reception. There's 11 seconds left. And me, I'm going for the touchdown. I don't want to have to settle for no field goal. Jordan's running the curl route, and I looked at him the entire play. Threw the ball to him, and bro dropped the ball. Too worried about running instead of catching the ball. And then, I did some dumb stuff. I know coach definitely don't like this. Third and 10, time is coming down. We got three timeouts. We should probably settle for a field goal. But me, being aggressive, don't want to go for no field goal, I decided to run. Not only that, I didn't go out of bounds. I wasn't aware of the time. I tried to do a spin move, tried to juke out the defender to get the touchdown. Instead, got tackled. We heading into the halftime, still tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. What in the world was I doing? Now look, to be honest, there's no reason why we should still be tied up against UTSA right now. But it's time to turn it up now. That's the second half, and we got to win this game. In this drive, you could tell I was locked in. At throwing that dot to Jordan, I'm taking a hit by two people. And still got that ball to Kelly, and he made a nasty move, picking up a big game. Having a pretty good drive so far, but we finally lose yards on this play, running the option play, losing three yards. I should have handed it off. And then on third and 13, I decided to go to my number one, Jordan. He beat him over the top. I feel like I threw that perfectly, but he wasn't able to get a foot in to score the touchdown. Maybe I let him out too far to the sideline. I don't know. From what I saw, it looked like a perfect pass. Just couldn't get that foot in. We got to settle for the field goal. 
And well, let's just say we missed that field goal somehow, but luckily defense ended up getting stopped. We're getting back to that side of the field. Tyron Smith getting to about the 30. We're running five out. And I ain't gonna lie, immediately I felt that pressure. Almost three players got off their old lineman, and I had to take off to the left side, and I picked up the first down too. Now it's third and six. I see Jaden, he's running a curl route. So I threw this ball right to him. He caught it, but then that defender made an amazing play on the ball. Got that ball right out of Jordan's hands for the deflection. And I'll be honest, I was real surprised. I rarely ever see that happen to Jordan. But again, we had to settle for the field goal. This time, we end up making it. It's the fourth quarter now. It's crunch time. We got to make sure we separate ourselves from them. Looking at this pass on first and 10, it might have looked dumb, but uh, it went right to Kelly's hands. What a pass, what a catch, I guess. I mean, just like the fact that I even had the balls to throw a pass like that in the situation I'm in right now, fighting for my starting spot, it's crazy. I like it though. Now that we're on their side of the field, we have no reason not to score on this drive here. Second and 10, and right when that defender was finna get off that line, Marcus got open, picking up the 17-yard reception. A little closer to the touchdown, third and four. That defender on the right side is pressing Jordan. He ended up getting open on this slant. Can't press him. Touchdown. With that touchdown, I'd say we locked it in. I mean, they scored too, but they didn't have enough time to get a stop and get the ball back. We ran the ball out, kicked the field goal, and won the game 20 to 14. In a game where I won player of the game 17 for 29, 247 yards, and two touchdowns. And Jordan, Marcus, and Kelly all did their thing. But now we gotta make sure we all do our thing against Colorado State. And all ready to start off the game on our first play on offense. Play action, wide open Jordan on a curl route, broke a tackle, spinned off of two defenders, and got going for the big touchdown. What a play. Now look, us being 3-0, trying to get to 4-0, and in Colorado State, they're 0-3. We just got to make sure that we don't lose a game to a defeated team. But right now, the way our offense is looking and the way it's been moving, we looking real nasty. I hit Jordan on the end route, let it a little bit ahead of him, but he still made this crazy diving grab for the first. At the incomplete pass, it's second and 10. We're running a simple play. We got a slant from each side of the field. I saw Tyron Smith open, gave it to him, but as soon as he caught it, that defender in the middle of the field made him drop the ball. We are not in field goal range, so we cannot afford to be on fourth down here. I decided to use my legs. I had my tight end, but I know I probably wouldn't have been able to make that pass. Picked up the first down and more. We came out here on first and 10 in the running formation. We ran a play action instead, and this ended up getting our tight end markets open for the touchdown. Great play. It's currently 14 to 0 in the first quarter, and I'm just running through these guys like it ain't nothing. And at this point, it really just feels like they can't do nothing to us, and we can do everything we want to them. No diddy. We're on their side of the field now, and range is scoring on second and four. Tried to get this ball to Jordan on this post route, but that cornerback made a great diving play to deflect the ball down. One thing I'm realizing against these teams I've been playing against, these schools aren't respecting my legs at all. I'm not really seeing too many spies, no contains. I'm easily able to pick up this first down. And yeah, I got a little bit too greedy. I wanted the touchdown. Probably should have slid down though. And now we're in first and goal. I'm feeling comfortable. Maybe too comfortable. Jordan's on the left side running the slant. And I don't know what I saw in this play at all. There was multiple defenders around there. There's no way in my right mind that I decided to throw that ball. Luckily, I didn't allow the pick six, but like at the end of the day, this pass is something that should never be thrown. Cause now at this point, there's a chance that they could take that pick and use that as momentum to go ahead and score and then possibly have all the momentum in the game to, you know, come back in this game. But looking for me, that momentum is still on our side. They did not score at all as our defense is just locking them up. Second and 10, decided to use my legs, ran out to the left side and picked up this huge game, putting me over a hundred rushing yards in this game. Second and six, running another play action. And I got amazing blocking for me to be able to wait all this time to hit Tyron Smith in the middle of the field for the first down. Now I ain't gonna lie, Colorado State's defense, they've been locking in a little bit. They got the third and goal, and they pass rush ended up getting back here. I broke one sack, but then got taken down by the next. And so with it being fourth and goal, we just gotta keep this field goal so we can be up 17 to zero. And well, it's the second quarter now, and we're still up 14 to zero, which means we missed that field goal, which makes no sense. Anyways, we still gotta fight down the field and score again, cause our defense just gotta stop, and we gotta reward them this time. On their side of the field now, on first and 10, I hit Kelly, who was wide open on his drag route. He made two defenders miss so he could pick up this first down. Then on the next play, we ran the play action. And to be honest, I was expecting somebody to pick up on this blitzing linebacker. But instead, I tried to run away, ended up getting sacked for a loss of 12 yards. But then, I'll pick up all them yards back and some on second and 22, throwing this dot corner route to Marcus Vincent on the sideline. 
Great toe tap catch too. Now look, I'm not trying to sell for a field goal this time. So on third and three, I decided to use my legs, take the first down, and go down. Don't gotta risk nothing, don't gotta risk no fumbles or nothing. On first and goal, we tried to do a receiver handoff to Jordan. Right when he ran up the middle, he ended up getting tackled, gaining three yards, but no touchdown. And then on the next play, we basically ran the exact same play, but instead, I held onto the ball and ran it in for the touchdown. I'm gonna be honest, this wasn't even really how the play was supposed to go. I was supposed to hand the ball off to him, but you know, things happen and we end up scoring anyway. Well, it's the second half now, and somehow, we went from being up three scores to only being up one score. And that comeback from Colorado State just tells you that there's always a lot of game left in football. Because even though they was down three scores, they got the ball, scored before half, and got the ball at half, and scored again. And with that momentum they had, they taking it to the defense too. I almost got sacked, couldn't find nobody to throw the ball to, so I threw it out of bounds. And of course, a flag was called, so we lost yard. And right now, it's not looking too good for us. We're all the way backed up, third and 24. And me, when I'm this backed up, I like to throw the ball to my best receiver. Threw that ball up to Jordan with him and the safety, and that ball went right over that safety's head for the big 42-yard reception. What a play. And now, we feel the momentum. After that big play, we ready to get down the field and score another touchdown. But on first and 10, I tried to run away from this defender, took a hit, and fumbled the ball. And they picked it up with a lot of momentum. And the Colorado State fans, they the loudest they done been all game. But me, walking back to the bench, I didn't even know what to say to my teammates. Because yeah, that blitz it might have got off too easily and got to me pretty quickly. But still, at the end of the day, there's no reason why I should be fumbling the ball. And coach, he ain't say nothing to me. And well, let's just say I'm pretty lucky. Colorado State wasn't able to score a touchdown or get a field goal. So I get a chance to come back out here and extend the lead. That's not looking too good right now. Up until on third and 12 when we needed a big play. We ran verticals on five out and I hit Mike Franklin for the big 28 yard reception. They got us a third down again, third and 10, but right now I feel good. O-line gave me good protection and I was able to hit Deion Hawkins for the first down towards the sideline. And then on second and six, drop back in the pocket, multiple people in my face and I still was able to deliver this dot to Marcus Vincent for a 25 yard reception, putting us in the red zone. We decided to come out here, run a speed option on first and 10. Lucky for me, that defender had a terrible angle on me and missed the tackle. And I got all the way to the one yard line, just couldn't get the tug. But it's fine though, we came out here again, run another speed option. I ran up the middle easily for the touchdown to extend this lead. And coach decided that we should go for it, go for two points on the PAT. And I hit Jordan for the two pointer, making it 28 to 14. We got a comfortable lead with about four minutes and a half in this game. So we should be able to win pretty easily. And so we're getting the ball back with under two minutes left in this game. They scored a touchdown, but they have no timeout. So all we have to do is run the ball and we should be good. Run the ball one more time on third and two to pick up this first down. And really, this should be game. But somehow, it wasn't. Because I was taken out of the game after that play. And Kevin Hurley, he came in the game. All he had to do was hand the ball off and we could win the game, but instead, the running back fumbled when they got down the field. So we weren't able to kick the field goal and Colorado State scored a touchdown. And so now, we're in OT. Colorado State strike first, so now we gotta make sure we score a touchdown. Getting this ball to Kelly on the slant, leading him up a little bit, he scored a touchdown, tying the game up. This time, we are the ones that gotta score first. Second and 10, throwing this ball up to Jordan, and that safety made a great play on the ball, deflecting it. Luckily, it wasn't picked off. It's third and 10, and things I like to do on third down is give the ball to my best receiver, Jordan. He ran his in route. He had the ball in his hands and dropped it. Like out of all of the moments I needed him, this is the one. And he dropped the ball. And so, coach decided to go for the field goal and hope that our defense could get a stop. But we missed the field goal. And not only that, they scored a touchdown, winning the game, ending our streak, and also ending their streak as well. We, as an undefeated team, just lost to a defeated team. That is crazy. And other than the pick I threw, I feel like I had a pretty good game. 326 yards and three touchdowns. And you can't forget the rushing yards I had, over 100. Jordan and Marcus had very good games. Jordan had three catches, 133 yards and a touchdown. But that one drop, <sighs> that's tough.